To stay updated, subscribe to TJA Academy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to discuss Johansson co-integration. First, the main assumption of Johnson cointegration is all variables dependent and independent are stationary at difference or I1. Johnson Quinty Gration use two type of statistics number one trace statistics and number two maximum eigenvalue statistics Hypothesis of Johansson test is there is no cointegration if trace value is greater than its critical value. It means reject H naught. It shows There is co integration. The same is for eigenvalue. If maximum. eigenvalue is greater than its critical value it means reject H naught which shows there is co-integration now the procedure first select all variables first variable should be dependent step number two open these variables as group number three go to view and select Johansson co-integration the main advantage 
of Johansson cointegration over angle Granger cointegration is that angle granger co integration identify only one co integrating equation on the other side Johansson co integration can identify more than one co integrating angle relationship. Now we are moving towards the procedure. We first select all variable, first should be the dependent one. Here we have the model where GDP is the dependent variable and labor force, capital and FDI are independent variables. Then step 2, open these variable as group. So right click, open as group. This is the group. The third one, go to view and select Johnson co-integration view integration test then Johnson system co-integration right now we are looking at this window one more way to get this is here go to quick then group statistics then Johnson co-integration test here you will have to write some variable like this if you select all variable like this so they appeared here GDP labor force capital and FDI first variable should be the dependent one then if we apply o press ok then we will get the same window now we have to select two things here one of one from these five options and the lag length basically uh, what are the assumptions uh, how can we select these assumptions uh, of about deterministic trend so here are the summary Johnson co-integration assumption of deterministic trend now these are the options one two three four five if all variable the level data have no deterministic trend and the co-integrating equation do not have intercept if you see your variable follow this assumption you have to select the option number one same here if your data says this one that the level data have no deterministic trend and the co-integrating equation have intercept so you have to adopt the option two mostly in time series data three and four would be appropriate the level data have linear trend but the co-integrating equation have only intercept the level data and the co-integrating equation have linear trend and there is an option number five the level data have quadratic trend and co-integrating equation have linear trend so if uh, first we have to uh, identify which assumptions assumption is better for our data but if you are not confirm about about the assumption so we should use the summary option this summary option will tell us which option is better 
with the appropriate leg length. So, I repeat the procedure. First, select the dependent variable, then all independent variable, and right click open as group. This is the group window. Go to view co integration test Johnson system co integration. If uh, I am not sure about the uh, condition of the data, we have to select the summary to find the appropriate option and appropriate leg length, then press OK. So this is the window. Here you can see this this one, option number one, option number two, option number three, four, and similarly five. And here is the archaic information criteria and Shawaz information criteria. You can use any one of them. So if we follow the Shawaz criteria, there is a static one. This shows one two three four option number four and leg one is appropriate one this is static shows option number four one two three four and this value show the number of leg the leg one with option four is an appropriate in our model so i I should go to view co integration test Johnson system co integration. We have to select option 4, there is already a lag 1. If the answer would be 2, so we have to write here 2, but uh, we know here is the appropriate lag length is 1, so we have to write 1 here. So we have selected our option number 4 and lag 1, then press OK. So this is the result of Johnson co-integration. There are two tables, trace and maximum eigenvalue. These are the value of trace statistics and its critical values and these are the value of maximum eigenvalue statistics and here it is the critical value. Now, none means there is one co-integrating vector which is your equation in which your dependent variable is GDP here at most one means if this variable is significant like this the trace statistics is greater than the critical value it means reject H naught you can see here trace value is greater than its critical value it means reject H not which shows there is co-integration so here 65.56 the trace value and its critical value is 63.87 it means trace value is greater than its critical value means reject H not it shows there is co-integrating equation but on the other value at most one 32 is the trace and 42 is the critical value it means there is no co-integration what does it mean if only the none is significant it shows there is only one co-integrating equation similarly the maximum eigenvalue shows the value is 32.72 and the critical value is 32.11 so at none means at one co-integrating vector we have to reject the null hypothesis which shows there is co-integration but on the at most one 21.43 and 25.82 here the maximum eigenvalue is less than the critical value so at most one there is no co-integration so none shows the significant result which shows there is a one co-integrating equation only if this would be significant it means two co-integration if this would be significant it means three co-integration so both test trace and eigenvalue statistics shows there is one co-integrating equation there is one co-integrating equation if trace and 
eigen value show different result in that case in that case trace is more appropriate references of this one are given in description so this is the interpretation of Johnson cointegration one more thing when we scroll down so here the normalized cointegrating coefficient the value having uh, the variable having below the value 1 it means this is the dependent variable same as we have selected and these are the independent variables like labor force capital and FDI here labor force capital and FDI what we uh, have to interpret that the sign would be opposite uh, let's suppose there is a minus 2.02 .02 is the co normalized coefficient of labor force it is not a minus 2 it would be a 0 0.029 the coefficient of capital is 0.487 the coefficient of FDI is 0 0.106 we have to take the opposite sign if the labor force shows a negative value it means it has a positive effect on GDP same here the capital shows the positive effect on GDP here the negative sign it means FDI also shows the positive effect on GDP but these are the standard errors if we divide these coefficient with standard error we will get a T statistics the T statistics will show whether these variables are significant or insignificant so in this case uh, normal these are the normalized uh, cointegrating coefficients so if you want to report it and then OLS then it would be better so in this case these are the interpretation of Johnson cointegration I hope this video will help you to understand how to apply Johnson cointegration e views if it is so, so like the video, share and subscribe my channel TJ Academy.